Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from Geotech. I guess this could also be water resources, but uh, it says a gravity dam has a cutoff wall at the upstream end as shown in the figure. Here's a cutoff wall. The width of the base of the dam is 150 feet, 150 feet, and the length of the dam is 200 feet. So that's into the page. There's a rock layer that is impermeable located 75 feet below the bottom of the reservoir. 75 feet, there's rock. The upstream depth is 50 feet and the tailwater depth is 10 feet. The hydraulic conductivity of the soil under the dam is 0 0.0025 feet per second. So that's going to be K0025. The pressure in PSIG, pounds per square inch gauge, at point X, here's point X, located 10 feet from the top of the rock layer, is most nearly what? So if we, let's set this bottom layer as our datum and it looks like we're be, we're dealing with flow nets here and if you're not familiar with flow, net, flow nets in the civil engineering reference manual chapter 21 talks about flow nets and we're going to be using um, some of the information in there but in order to solve this we need it's asking for the pressure at point X so to find the pressure we need to find the pressure head HP. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find the total head and basically what we need to do for that is um, to find it at an intermediate location like X you either need to find the weighted average or we can take the total head at the upstream uh, ground minus the head loss for how many drops that we're going to do and what we need to do is um, add up how many drops we have and then that's called NP number of drops and in the civil engineering reference manual that's what they call these number of drops NP and we just basically add these individual sections here each one of these lines is a drop so this is uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13 drops. The other thing we could add up is number of flow lines, which is these ones. So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got four flow lines, 13 drops. So, uh, like I said, we need to find the total head at this point, which is going to be our total head is 75 plus 50, that's 125 feet minus we gotta find what it is here so um, we have to take the head and multiply it by uh, the the number of drops this is going to be our head loss so we've got the total head we're figuring out what the head loss is now so 125 feet minus We've got to take 50 minus 10 feet. That gives us 40 feet multiplied by the number of drops. 2.x is going to be 10 and a half. It's right in the middle here. So that's going to be 10 and a half drops over a total of 13 drops. So we basically have here the total head at the upstream ground minus the head loss for ten and a half pressure drops. That's this chunk right in here. Okay, so what does that give me? That gives me 92.69 feet. Now we know the elevation head, HZ, is going to be 10 feet, or 10 feet from our datum. So we know that uh, this equation, that the total head is basically your pressure head plus your elevation head so our pressure head is going to be our total head minus our elevation head so we take 92.69 and subtract 10 that gives me 82.69 feet 
and then we need to convert this. It's asking for pounds per square inch gauge pressure. So we have to multiply 82.69, multiply that, let's 69 times gamma of water, which is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. And that gives me 5159.9 pounds per square foot. So you need to divide this, divide that by 144. It's not a very good 144, but that gives you pounds per square inch. And I get 35.8 PSI. So about 36 PSI, or it looks like the answer would be to that. So this is a good problem dealing with flow nets. If you, again, if you're not familiar with flow nets, they're guaranteed to be a flow net question on there. And it's all found in Chapter 21 of the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. This is a bit of an oddball question, but it definitely could be thrown at you to find pressure at a point under one of these drops. So um, hope that helped you out. Head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, bye.